All right, joining me now for more reflections on the incredible legacy of the Queen and her impact on millions of Australians is Shadow Attorney General Julian Lisa. Julian, welcome to the program. Good to see you tonight. Now, we've been hearing stories and tributes today from everyone, all walks of life. You realise how much the Queen meant to everyday Australians. Have you reflected on her reign and legacy today? Well, I'm profoundly saddened by the death of Queen Elizabeth, but I'm also very grateful for her life of service. Um, she is, in every sense, um, a living link with a generation who put country before self, whose values of quiet, dignity, modesty, duty and thrift um, were so important to the building of the modern West that we know today, places like our own country, places like Britain. Um, she's like, it's like losing a grandmother, but she's more than that. Uh, she was everyone's grandmother, in a sense, and she's an anchor uh, um, to, to that set of values and to that generation. Um, she's been a wonderful servant of our country and has always taken a great interest in Australia. She has, she has. She certainly has taken a great interest in Australia. There's no doubt about that. Now, you're a staunch monarchist, Julian. What does the monarchy look like now to you? One of the great things about constitutional monarchy... Uh, is it has great continuity. I mean, the Queen was there for 16 Prime Ministers and we know what the monarchy will look like in terms of who will be the next king and the king after that and the king after that to, for, for more than the next century, um, most likely. Um, I think King Charles will be a good king. He knows Australia well. He was educated here at Geelong Grammar. Uh, he spent a lot of time here in, in Australia over the years. Um, he's moving now from being the Prince of Wales to being the monarch. So he's now got constitutional duties that he'll perform. And in the performance of those duties, he has the example of his wonderful mother, who as a constitutional monarch has not put a foot wrong. I think it's wonderful that we can have in our system a sovereign that is above politics. You cannot imagine this sort of outpouring that we're seeing for the passing of the Queen for any sort of President of the United States, for instance, mm. because you just don't get the same feeling when you've got a politician, however they're chosen, in that particular role. Sure. Uh, we've got about 60 seconds, Julian. Now, Parliament will no longer sit next week. Um, what are the plans? You're the Opposition Attorney-General, so you're across this sort of stuff. What are the plans now uh, for the swearing-in or the swearing of allegiances to the new king? Well, my understanding is that there will be, uh, over the weekend, uh, or early next week, a meeting of the Federal Executive Council, uh, that is effectively the Ministry, um, to confirm um, Charles as the, uh, as the King of Australia. Um, there will be um, a, a national memorial service um, sometime later this month, um, where there will be parliamentarians, um, uh, there will be other civic leaders uh, who will come to Parliament House for that national memorial. And after that, the Parliament will resume again. Julian Lisa, it's always great to chat. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Gleeson.